You won't believe what Simone Biles just told Rebecca Andrade. Their latest interaction has the entire gymnastics world buzzing, and what happens next is going to leave you absolutely stunned. Let me tell you about these two incredible gymnasts, Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade. If you've been following gymnastics even a little bit, you've definitely heard of Simone Biles. She's practically a legend in the sport. Biles has this uncanny ability to pull off moves that no one else even dreams of attempting. She's the most decorated female gymnast in history, with a jaw-dropping 23 World Championship golds to her name. That's right, 23. And she didn't just stop there. Her return to gymnastics after a two-year break was nothing short of epic. She took some time off after the Tokyo Olympics, where she had to withdraw due to a case of the twisties. A mental block that makes it hard for gymnasts to figure out where they are in the air. But when she made her comeback at the 2023 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp, Belgium, she was in top form. She wowed everyone by winning gold again, proving that she still got it. It's in the women's all-around competition at the World Championships of Artistic Gymnastics in... Rebecca is from Brazil, and she's really put her country on the gymnastics map. Her big break came at the Tokyo 2020 Games, which were held in 2021 because of the pandemic. She made history by becoming the first South American woman to make it to the all-around podium, where she clinched the silver medal behind Sunisa Lee from Team USA. But she didn't stop there. Just days later, she won Brazil's first ever gold in gymnastics by taking the vault title. How amazing is that? Since then, Rebecca has been unstoppable. She's collected a total of nine medals at the World Championships, including a historic all-around title in 2022, and the vault title again in 2023. She's not just a star, she's a trailblazer for Brazilian gymnastics. And now, she's gearing up for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Her last competition before the big event is the Trofo Brasil in Rio, which is happening this week. It's going to be her final tune-up before she heads to Paris, and all eyes will be on her. So Michaela Skinner do, half on. Olha só. You won't believe what happened between Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade recently. It was one of those moments that makes you love sports even more. So picture this. Simone and Rebecca are both gearing up for the Paris 2024 Olympics, and everyone's buzzing about their upcoming showdown. But amidst all this hype, Simone said something to Rebecca that left everyone talking. During a recent interview, Simone Biles was asked about her thoughts on competing against Rebecca Andrade. Instead of the usual competitive banter, Simone spoke with genuine admiration. She said, Rebecca is not just a competitor, she's an inspiration. I hope we both bring our best to Paris, because it's an honor to compete alongside someone like her. Can you imagine hearing that from the greatest gymnast of all time? It's like Michael Jordan telling a rising basketball star that he's looking forward to playing with them. Um salto de campeã do mundo, salto! No one does it quite like this. She's got a big lead on night one here in St. Louis. Back after this on NBCSN. Rebecca's reaction to Simone's comments was just as touching. When asked about Simone's praise, Rebecca couldn't stop smiling. She said, Hearing that from Simone means the world to me. I've always looked up to her, and to know that she respects me in return is incredible. It motivates me to push even harder and to make this Olympic Games unforgettable. You could see how much those words meant to her, and it was clear that Simone's respect had given her a big confidence boost. But that's not all. The interaction between them didn't just stay in interviews. At the 2023 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Antwerp, something magical happened. After the floor exercise finals, where Biles took gold and Andrade took silver, Simone did something unexpected. Before the medals were handed out, she removed her crown and placed it on Rebecca's head. It was a symbolic gesture, almost like passing the torch, and it left everyone in awe. Fans went wild, and social media was flooded with praise for both gymnasts. It was a beautiful moment of sportsmanship and respect. 
The gymnastics world went absolutely wild after the interaction between Simone Biles and Rebecca Andrade. It was one of those feel-good moments that remind you why you love sports. Fans and gymnasts alike couldn't stop talking about it. Social media blew up with posts praising both athletes for their sportsmanship and mutual respect. Gymnastics enthusiasts flooded Twitter and Instagram with heartwarming messages. One popular post showed a photo of Simone placing her crown on Rebecca's head with the caption, this is what true sportsmanship looks like. Legends supporting legends. It got thousands of likes and retweets. People were genuinely moved by the moment and you could feel the love and respect pouring in from all corners of the globe. Other gymnasts also chimed in. Sunisa Lee, the Tokyo 2020 all-around champion tweeted, such a beautiful moment between two incredible athletes. This is why we do what we do. Her sentiment was echoed by many others in the gymnastics community. Ali Raisman, another gymnastics legend, posted on Instagram, proud of these two amazing women. They are setting such a great example for young gymnasts everywhere. The fans' reactions were a mix of excitement and admiration. One user on Reddit's gymnastics subreddit wrote, Simone and Rebecca's interaction is the best thing I've seen all year. Can't wait to see them both in Paris. Another commented, their rivalry is so wholesome. It's all about pushing each other to be better. And that's what makes it so special. It was clear that this moment had struck a chord with everyone who follows the sport. This interaction between Simone and Rebecca isn't just a feel-good story. It's likely to have a big impact on their performances. When two top athletes show this kind of respect and admiration for each other, it often translates into even better performances. They push each other to new heights, and that's exactly what we can expect in Paris. Each other the best push that we can to bring out the best athletes. Um, so I just, I don't know, just being excited, being back out here, competing, having fun, having that pressure again, all the things. Simone Biles, having already made a stunning comeback, seems more motivated than ever. Her words about Rebecca indicate that she's looking forward to the challenge and is ready to bring her best. Knowing that she has a competitor like Rebecca, who respects and admires her, might just give Simone that extra push to perform even better. For Rebecca Andrade, Simone's comments are a massive confidence boost. Imagine one of your idols telling the world how much they respect you. That's bound to fire you up. Rebecca has already proven that she can go toe to toe with Simone. And with this newfound motivation, she's likely to be even more focused and determined. Their rivalry, built on mutual respect, sets the stage for some thrilling competitions in Paris. We can expect them to bring out the best in each other, which means we're in for some spectacular gymnastics. The dynamics of their rivalry are fascinating. It's not about tearing each other down, but about lifting each other up. This positive competition is likely to inspire both of them to push the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics. As for the potential outcomes, it's anyone's guess. Simone might have the edge with her experience and record-breaking performances, but Rebecca has shown that she's more than capable of winning gold. What's certain is that their performances will be closely watched, and their rivalry will be one of the highlights of the Paris 2024 Olympics. Both of them are in full-on preparation mode, and it's fascinating to see how they're gearing up for what's sure to be an epic showdown. Starting with Rebecca Andrade, She's about to compete in the Trofeu Brazil in Rio. This event is her last big competition before heading to Paris, and it's a crucial part of her training. The Trofeu Brazil is set for this Friday and Sunday, and you can bet all eyes will be on her. It's her chance to fine tune her routines and get into that competitive mindset. She's been on a phenomenal run lately, winning multiple medals at the World Championships, including a historic all around title and vault gold. This competition is a way for her to ensure she's in peak form, both physically and mentally, as she makes her final preparations for the Olympics. Rebecca's training has been intense. She's been focusing on perfecting her routines, especially on the vault and uneven bars, where she's been a standout performer. Her coach and support team have been pushing her hard, making sure she's ready to face the best in the world. She's also been working on her endurance and mental toughness which are crucial for the high-pressure environment of the Olympics. 
The excitement and pressure are building, but Rebecca seems ready to rise to the occasion. She's determined to bring her best to Paris and possibly add more gold to her already impressive collection. I don't know, I think all, um, I think the whole entire experience that we've had at this World Championships, I think we learned a lot from it um, moving forward, so I, I feel like I have no words really. Did you wonder? Which brings us to Simone Biles. After her remarkable comeback at the 2023 World Championships, Simone has been training harder than ever. Her performance in Antwerp was nothing short of legendary, securing her 23rd World Championship gold. It's clear that she's back in top form and ready to take on the world again. Her training regimen is as rigorous as you'd expect from the greatest gymnast of all time. Simone's been working on enhancing her already jaw-dropping routines, adding even more difficulty and precision. Her focus has been on maintaining her physical health and avoiding the mental blocks that plagued her in Tokyo. Simone's been very open about the mental challenges she's faced, and she's been working closely with her coaches and sports psychologists to ensure she's mentally prepared for the pressures of the Olympics. Her routines are more polished than ever, and she's been consistently pushing the boundaries of what's possible in gymnastics. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.